how it all happened behind the scenes and that final act of a memorable season at Plough Lane was of course that Dave Bassett left one of the most talked about clubs in the country and joined one of the most charismatic chairmen in the league from Wimbledon to Watford from Sammy Haman to Elton John. Elton, what were the qualities that made you choose Dave Bassett? His record as, as a manager the fact that I knew from his reputation that he liked and got along very well with his players. Um, and instinctively, I knew he was a great motivator. Um, Did he I, come as a surprise to you when Graham Taylor wanted to leave? No, not at all. Um, I'd expected Graham... I, I mean, if you're a creative person, and Graham, I think, in ma football managers and people in football are just as creative as what I do in their respect, um, he'd spent so much time at the club and spent so much energy organising this and that and being involved in this and that. No, it didn't come as a surprise. Um, I, I'm, I hope I'm a dear friend of his. I, I wanted him to go on to something different. He wanted something different. He needed something different. When you look back on his achievements at the club, what would you say the most important ones were? Well, I would say there would be no Watford Football Club without Graham Taylor. I mean, his total dedication and passion for the club are second to none. Um, his leadership, his total professionalism, and the fact that I, I, I just liked him a lot. Um, it, it, was, it was a chemistry, I think, maybe it was a chemistry that died out towards the end. That's probably why he left, he wanted to leave, because I didn't see so much of him. On the last three or four years at Watford, I wasn't there so much. I was on tour a lot. I think that contributed a lot to Graham, be, not just becoming disillusioned, that's the wrong word. I think it, you need a relationship between a manager and a chairman for things to work, and a manager and a board of directors. When now Graham's gone, I'm more passionate than ever, and he's more passionate than ever. He'll go to Aston Villa and he'll create havoc with the players. Uh, he'll become Graham Taylor as he was ten years ago when he came to Watford. I'll become Elton John ten years ago when Graham first came to Watford. Uh, and I've got David Bassett, and it's something new for us both. Um, you don't take, but it's been ten years of great friendship, um, and ten years of him sitting me down and giving me... He's given me stick when I, uh, when I haven't been behaving properly. Um, but it's been a caring relationship. And it's one that's why I would never charge Aston Villa any money at all. Because this man, if I'd have charged Aston Villa money, it would have been a... Well, I mean, what's the point of delaying? It, Graham might not have been able to go in there. And Graham wanted to go there. And Graham will turn Aston Villa into a wonderful club. I put my money in it now. It's my, if you wanted me to put £5,000 on the table now, I haven't got it. But I will say that Aston Villa will become in the next two or three years another major club. And I will be there cheering for them. It's been a very difficult year for you personally. Did yeah. you never contemplate giving up? No. I'm not, I'm not the sort of person that gives up. I, 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 I retreated into my bedroom for three weeks. And I just didn't want to talk to anybody. Um, but then there are, the British public have been so supportive. I, I went to a couple of games as chairman of the club. I went to West Ham. Uh, I went to the, the semi-final. Our supporters were magnificent. I had so many supportive letters from people. And um, quite honestly, my hardship, it was, it was embarrassment more than anything else. Uh, it's something I will fight against. And I've said that I don't... It's not true. I'll fight against it. Um, but when you're dealing... When you're involved with a football club or anything to do with me on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it affects other people, you know. And people say, what about your chairman then? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Or, for example, when there was a story in the national newspaper saying I was going to sell the club, the bank stopped the checks, everybody who loaned us money wanted their money back. Um, you fight that situation. But then you look at people uh, who come through greater hardship than yourself and you think, come on, I've had so much great support. It has been hard. I've had the voice. I've had the separation from the wife, which is now forgotten about. We're back together. I've had all the insults in the newspapers. Um, but I've had the, all the support from people in the country. I've had the most marvellous letters from people that are, are handicapped, the people that haven't got so much... I mean, I've got everything in life. Why should I sit there? It's just... It's, I've, I was ashamed. That's basically... I was ashamed of the stories that came out. The reason I joined Watford in the first place was not because of what happened on the field. 
It was because of what happened with the football directors there. When I was wearing high heel shoes that high, I had pink hair, and I, you know, I looked like a goon. Um, uh, but that was how I was. I, I'm always how I am, and they've always accepted me like that. They've never, ever had a nasty word to say about me in public. They might have had laughed their heads off when I walked out the door. That's human nature. But they've, people in, have been brilliant to me in sport. 